Hello, good evening, my friends. Welcome to another English class in this intermediate module number one. So let's see who we have here. Let's check uh, the participants that are already connected. As always, saying thank you for turning on your camera. It's important for you to be like connected with your camera on, okay? So let's see who do we have here. Um, Fred is good evening. Hi. Good evening, guys. Good evening, teacher. Hi, how are it's you tonight? Good. Mm -hmm. good. It's good. Good. Okay, thank you. What about Denise? Hi, how are you doing? Hello, good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Hi, how are you doing? I'm good, actually. I'm still working. Really? Okay, come on. But are you about to finish? No, I finished almost 11 today. Wow, come on. But thank you for being connected, Denise. I'd like to see you again. Perfect. Here we have also Morelia. Hi, Morelia. Hi, everyone. Hey. Who are you? Well, I'm pretty good. What about you? How do you do? I'm okay. I have vacations on this week, yeah. so I'm relaxed. Honestly, you look like relaxed tonight. You look like different. Yeah. <laughs> well, perfect. I hope you can take advantage of your time. Okay? Thank Sleep. You. Watch yeah. series. Mm -hmm. um, I have a problem with the rain. It's raining here, so I can listen and have it turn on the camera. Okay. So thank you for thank you for I'm going to turn it off mm -hmm. to listen to. The okay. Are you wearing? Are you using headphones? I don't know where they are. Okay. I think Somewhere. that my my sister have it. Somewhere under know. the bed. <laughs> okay. Well. <laughs> Thank you for telling me, Morelia. Nice. We have also who else? Um, Alberto. Hello, Jorge Alberto. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Okay. How are you doing tonight? Why did you say to Lira? Okay, I understand. But well. Teacher. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry for the yesterday. I know you And because they are continue listening to the upcoming for the case. Okay. Uh you were sick yesterday, right? You told me that that you were you were feeling not good. What about you now? Are you better? Yes, a little bit. Okay. I hope you are taking your medicine so you can improve. Okay. Um Let's see who else. Um, what about uh, Ernesto? Hello, Ernesto. How are you doing? Hello, teacher. Hello, Hi. can you hear me? Mm -hmm. Hello. Hello. Yes, yes, I am. Mm -hmm. Hello. Tell me, how are you tonight? I'm fine, pretty fine. It it was a good day at work, and uh, I'm ready for the class. Okay, perfect. I like to hear that, my friend. You are the coffee lover, right? Six cups every day, right? Good. Yes. No sugar. Sugar free. Okay. Perfect. Sugar free. Yes. That's that's the attitude. Thank you, Ernesto. Uh, Roberto. Okay, Robert. Good evening. Hi. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. Thanks for this new class. Yep. Thank you to you, my friend, for being here. How was your day? Uh, some tired after work, and but I feel calm in this moment. Perfect. Remember, Tuesday it is not easy, right? Maybe on Thursday, Friday it is better. Okay, but thank you for answering. We have also Maria Jose. Hello there. Good evening. 
Good evening. Um, how are you tonight, Maria Jose? Very good. I was thinking about today's sunset. Was so pretty. Did you see or somebody else? Yeah, I I saw it. Well, even th there are some photographs on Facebook or uh, on Instagram. Really good ones. Well, I guess in everywhere yes. in Salvador, right? Nice. You it is like an yes. opportunity to take pictures. Okay, thank you, Maria Jose. You were uh, you weren't in the class yesterday, right? Yes, I have some problems with ah, my connections had. to internet. I was no, I drove to Oneida to report. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I, I remember. Okay. Hey, Maria Jose, how do you prefer thank to be you. called? Maria Jose, hey, Maria Jose, Majo, or I don't know how your friends Majo. called you. Uh, Majo, it's Majo okay. more short. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's shorter. I I love shorter. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, no problem, Majo. I love short names. In my case, okay. yeah, everybody calls me Josue, but my friends, especially they they call me Joshua or Josh. So it's like very short. It is like better. Thank you, Majo, for being here. Yeah. What about Brandon? Good evening, Brandon. Ah, no, I'm sorry. Good evening, Okay, you're you're as a listener, right? Yeah, but thank you, Brandon. <laughs> no problem. We have also Raquel. Hello, Raquel. Are you okay? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Good. Excellent. Perfect. Excellent. Okay. Thank you. We have Vicky. I don't know if Vicky is uh, ready. Yes, I am here. Okay. How do you do? I'm good. Good. <laughs> I am good. <laughs> okay. Thank you. And Roxana. Hello, Roxana. Okay, maybe Roxana is not um ready for the class, but we have Nancy Carolina. Hi, Nancy. Okay, well, uh, Roxana, I guess she's ready. But in case no, I hope she can be connected with us. Okay, uh, just to remember that yesterday we were like um, discussing about ways to ask how are you. Um, remember that uh, in the beginning of the class, At the beginning of the class, I always want, I, I love checking the attendance list by uh, saying these phrases or questions, or it can be also English idioms. And so here we have different forms. If you notice, I asked you how are, what's new with you? How was your day? How's it going? Okay, how do you do? Que no está acá? Yeah, it is not here, but it is also another question to ask, how are you? But now we have, well, I have some phrases for you. So you can have another um, view of how to answer this. And tonight is, the topic is how to use adverbs in transition expressions, okay? How to use adverbs in transition expressions. I'm going to um clarify this i'm going to explain what is an adverb how can we use this this is the class number nine it, this is my second class as a teacher okay so um for um for us to to start taking the attendance list remember as i told you yesterday we have different forms to ask how are you and when a person asks you how are you how was your day? How are you feeling? What's new? Sometimes, or it is really, but really common to say, fine. I'm fine, fine, fine. But remember that we have a variety of answers and we can use different phrases. For example, pretty good. Couldn't be better. Couldn't be better. I'm doing good. I'm doing fine. On the top of the world. I'm alive is like kind of sarcastic, okay, right. I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. And so far, so good. So far, so good. Even it is the name of 
Brian Adams eh, album, I guess. So far, so good. Hasta ahora, todo bien. I remember that. So here we have these phrases. Remember that I'm going to call you one by one. And I need you to say hi, hello, or good evening. And after you say present or hi, you have to mention one of these ways to say I'm fine. Okay. So that's the that's the dynamic. We are practicing, we are acquiring new vocabulary, or maybe you already know these phrases, but it is important to use them. Okay, just give me one second. So I'm going to um, repeat again, pretty good, like pretty woman, pretty good, mm -hmm. pretty couldn't, good. okay? Remember to say couldn't, no cold. And in this case, um, I'm going to, to, to make emphasis. Uh, here we have some modal verbs. Okay, remember, remember please to be in silent mode. No se imaginan las cosas que he escuchado en, en las clases. So I recommend, I strongly recommend you to be in silent mode. Porque a veces han habido un par de reclamos. No, digo, I'm not saying that you're having those situations, but it could happen. And we have different modal verbs. For example, sorry, this is not working. Okay. In this case, we have silent letters, and I'm going to explain that, uh, well, in another moment. We say should, uh, the letters in parentheses are the, the pronunciation. Okay, so um, the letter O, it's silent. You don't have to pronounce that. The letter L, it's silent letter. When I when I'm say silent, it's like this. For example, it is not chocolate. Chocolate is chocolate. Chocolate. Okay. So in this case, the letter O, this one is silent. So you don't have to pronounce that, okay? It is like, for example, we say Guevara in Spanish. The letter U is silent. You don't pronounce that, okay? So let's continue. Should, would, could. Should, would, could. And for negatives, if you want to use it like this, you are, I'm pretty sure that you already started this with the previous teacher. Couldn't, okay? Couldn't. Remember to pronounce the T. So, couldn't be better. I'm doing good. I'm doing fine. On the top of the world. I'm alive. I'm doing all right. So far, so good. Different forms or different ways to say I'm fine. Okay, I'm going to check the attendance list. In this case, let's see uh, who is present. Mm, Alex, I guess uh, he wrote me. And what's up? He texted me. Okay, uh, Raquel, Ana Raquel. Hello there. Present it. Okay, thank you. Select one phrase. Remember, you have to select one of these phrases, Raquel. 
Okay. Let's continue with Vicky. Maybe Raquel has not understood the, the activity. Uh, Vicky? Hi. Hi. <laughs> um, Hello. Pretty good. Thank Hello. you. Nice. Pretty, pretty good. good. Thank you. Um, Brandon is like, well, as a listener. Presentation. Okay. Thank Presentation. You, so far, so good. Perfect. Thank you for your participation. Denise? Hi. Hello, I'm doing fine. Mm, perfect. Redis? Hi there. Present teacher, I don't find. Good. Uh, Alberto, Jorge Alberto. Present teacher, I'm alive. Okay. Yeah, you are alive because you are kind of sick, so well. You are alive. Uh, Ernesto? Okay, Jorge Ernesto. You go. So far, so good, teacher. Perfect. Uh, Luis Eduardo Reyes, I guess, is not here, right? Well, um, Majo, hello. Present couldn't be better. Perfect. Maritza. Maritza Selina. Well, not really. Uh, Miguel? Okay, Miguel. Couldn't be better. Thank you. Morelia. Present on the top of the word. Good one. And Nancy. Hi, Nancy. No, Nancy. Okay. Let's move with Oscar Eduardo. Okay. Roberto. Hello, Roberto. Present teacher. I'm doing all right. Perfect. And Roxana. Okay, Roxana, are you there? Yes. Good night, teacher. Um, Hello. Wouldn't be better. Thank you. Okay, just remember good evening because good night is when you have your pajamas. Cuando ya estamos en pijama. Good night. But no, a las 10 me dicen así. Todavía relax. Okay. Ya casi tenemos sueño, but no, come on. Okay, and thank you for all your answers. Just remember that we were studying this, okay? Towing food, hand washing, sanitizing, food storage, purchase, tasting metal, okay? And here we have the definitions, okay? What these phrases mean, okay? The meaning of any, well, all of these uh, words, okay? So, um, we were checking that there are some words, for example, this one, forearms. Mm, okay, I'm going to ask this. And I'm going to ask to Freddy's. Freddy's, do you remember how you pronounce this? So. Okay, mm -hmm. so. Okay, and if you want to say sopa, how do you say sopa in English? So, oh. mm -mm. it's different. Soup. soup. Okay, chicken soup, maruchan oh, soup. Chicken. Soup. Uh -huh. soup. So that's it. And soap is, as you mentioned, Freddy's. Thank you. Okay, okay, here we have. Okay, thank you. Four arms. Here we have this. Mm. Well, we know that spoon, spoon is cuchara, right? License, packaged, packaged, maybe storage. I'm just underlining the words that can, can represent a, a difficulty, okay? Rings. And it is like that, okay? And remember that sample, it's another, but it's like example. So these are, well, part of the vocabulary that we have been studying. And it is important that it is mandatory to understand and to learn them, okay? Let's move 
because as I told as I have told you, I like different kinds of activities. It is really but really important that okay. What about here? Mission or vision of your workplace. I guess this is going to be like very um yeah, entertainment. Well, entertained because uh, remember that you have different objectives because you work in different companies, right? Maybe you offer products or services, you provide services or you provide different types of advisor, advisory, or maybe you work with people. That depend well, that depends on the company. So mission or vision of your workplace. I need you to text it in the chat. Select one. If you have both mission and vision, of course, you can share. And remember that we always use the chat for this activity. Okay, I'm going to give you like one minute. Meanwhile, you are texting. Remember, chat here in Zoom. And then we're going to read all your answers. Misión o visión. Una de las dos. Okay, let's see what do we have here. Um, remember, it is important for the speaking activities um, to, well, in your case, previously practice this, uh, all the phrases, words, new vocabulary, so you can have, or you can, yeah, you can have a better participation. And that's, that's the, the objective okay we're going to start with brandon if possible brandon you tell me if you can participate then we go with alberto okay and mission we are the institution that formulates directs 
sectors and monitors couples with the national jugular and national policies in coordination with national and international institutions to contribute to the comprehensive development of young people. Thank you. Uh, what about the vision? Uh, the vision is to be the articulating institution of public policies that allow young people to be fully in cooperate for the development of the country. Okay, very, very nice because you work with young people especially. But thank you, Brandon Jobs. So a couple of details. Um, for example, we are the institution that formulates direct and executes, like execute similar, okay? And that is compliance and monitors compliance. And then comprehensive, comprehensive. Thank you, Brandon. Very complete your participation. I like it. Okay. Um, what about Alberto and then Roberto? Hi, teacher. My Hello. mission in workplace is try to try to my help as be a possible and efficient. Or vision in the in workplace. We real in the best way the help that need to be done on a daily basic and try to stir then to then to be able to access a promotion. Okay, thank you. Okay, very nice. We go now with Roberto and then Ernesto. Okay, hey, Roberto, your turn. Okay, uh, I work in a Catholic institution and the vision is to be an institution that manages innovation and helps develop full consciousness in a dedicated space where children and young people learn to be happy through evangelical values in the charisma of St. Marceline Champagnat. Oh, really? That, that's a good... That, that, that's a, a good school, believe me. Congratulations. Okay, just one, uh, maybe a couple of details. Very nice pronunciation. Consciousness, consciousness, and the other could it be through values. But of course, I guess working in a religious institution, it has like some benefits, right? Related to also with the, the the behavior the behavior of some students teachers i guess it is a good environment right roberto you work in a good environment thank you thank you for sharing what about ernesto and then majo okay ernesto okay teacher our uh, our mission to take care of the visual health needs of the population with ethics and professionalism. Throughout professional sphere, who attend our opticians, offering a personalized service accompanied by highly products and technology to meet the primary object of providing our patients with health a steady and fashion for their eyes. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, the other part is, is well, with the, the rest of your uh, participation is going to be for, for the, the next activity, okay? So we're going to finish until here and very good pronunciation, maybe just primary, primary objective. Wow, so you, you work with, yeah, primary. Take care of visual health. Yeah, so important. Thank you, Ernesto. Yes. Uh, we go with Majo You're and welcome. then, anytime. Majo and Roxana. Okay, currently I work with Avianca, with an mm -hmm. airline and in a specific area, chat in Portuguese, the oh, mission good. of our service is to provide the best customer service to people who communicate 
to Brazil specifically. And uh, these people um, requesting the changes of on their flights. Uh, we are looking for the best prices and alternatives. We are interested in being the best with the customer or client and provide the best satisfaction in solving their needs. Yeah, very, very nice. Um, uh, curiosity, have you ever had like a difficult situation with a customer, a client? Every time <laughs> the client, the, the customer never, uh, has never agreed with the price of the yeah. of the changes. Mm -hmm. I, I guess customers, that's something that always is going to happen, right? Well, well, now that you work with customer support or attending clients, now your perception of the reality is kind of different, right? Because of now you yes. you know a lot of people, it is like wow, what's wrong with you? Uh, you what? never, you never be when you work with a uh, people. You never be the same customer. Never. No, no, you something... be different always something changes in you. So thank you, yes. Maria Jose. I'm going to focus on, well, I'm going to point just one word. You mentioned interesting, okay? So I guess that is right or interested. Let me check. We are interested. Okay, this is the word. And um, yes. there is another silent letters here. And uh, here we have interesting, but the pronunciation is in Interesting, interesting. And here, in the second one, it's similar. Interesting. But number one, it ends in interesting thing. And the other, interesting. Did. Okay. Interesting, interested. Three syllables. Okay. But thank you. Thank you, Maria Jose. Um, believe me, in my in my case, these words were kind of problem for me in some point when I was uh, well studying English as well. But thank you, very nice. Here we have a an Avianca girl. Thank you, Maho. Um, later we're going to work with uh, some issues or situations, but later, later. Okay, guardate lo mejor para después. And Roxana. Please, and then Vicky. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Our mission is offer a wide range of functional innovative solutions and products in com at competitive prices for our various lines. Mm -hmm. And the vision is to be leaders in distribution and marketing of raw materials and technical pro support for our various lines and industrial companies in Central America. I Thank work you. in a chemical company. I was going to ask that. I I thought that you were where that you are working for industrial materials or for building or for constructions. Uh -huh. Materials, but no, you are saying that you are in another era. But yeah. Thank you. You work specifically with some products. Mm, we go now with Vicky and then Denise. Vicky, show time. Okay, and um, the mission and vision is, is a work group with my best friend. Uh, we have a work group is um, O N O N G. N G O. That was N G O. NGO. Es como ONG, pero en diferente orden. NGO. NGO. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that was legal Legalist. And the mission Perfect. is work for the conservation of biodiversity and sustainable, sustainable, sustainable. development, sustainable. Sustainable develop, development of natural, natural resources Sources. in the country in the country, in the region, uh, promoting the inclusion and participation of women, we, women. Through, women through the execution of research projects and 
educational activities. And the vision is contribute to the conservation of biodiversity in the country through, in, through the inclusion and activity participation of women in the development and execution in, of environmental research in education projects. Thank you. Hey, you work with natural resources, okay? Promoting, okay? Helping that in uh, projects yes. focus on women. I like, I like it. Thank mm -hmm. you for sure. Okay, I'm going to okay. um, point some patterns, algunos patrones que hay en inglés. You may say teacher, but here we have some words and here are some others similar, but the pronunciation is different. Yes, it happens, but also we have words with similar kinds of pronunciation. For example, you have, uh, let me see, biodiversity, biology, biography. So it is like a pattern, es como un patrón. Similar to this, should, would, could, okay? And in, in that way, for example, uh, mm, currently, perfectly, actually, all of them, these are adverbs that we're going to talk about this later, but what I'm saying is that there is a pattern so once you discover the pattern, una vez que ya descubrimos el patrón, it is easier. It is easier for us to pronounce any word, even if you don't know the, the, the meaning. As, va a llegar un momento que van a pronunciar cualquier palabra, aunque no sepan el significado. But you have an idea the, of the patterns. Okay? But thank you, Vicky. And congratulations for your NGO. It's a good job. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Denise and Fredis. Okay. Our vision is be the leading bank in El Salvador, known for giving the highest satisfaction to our customers, creating value in a responsible way to our customers and our country. Mm -hmm. Oh, you work with the bank, right? Uh, I don't remember yes. what bank, but you already mentioned. Uh -huh. right? Coscatlan uh, Bank. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe later we're going to ask you about some things. You can give us some tips. <laughs> Thank you, Dennis. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, Fredis and then Morelia. Okay, the vision. The general value for customer employees, shareholder supply, and the company acting as an industrial organizer and textile solutions from continuing improvement and technological development of new products, process and service by a team to training motivator and support with social responsibility and environmental onward. Okay, do you work in an NGO, in a foundation or something like that? No. Yeah. Oh, really? Uh, together with with Vicky? No, in another one. No, no. And Michael. Ah, with Michael. You were with Michael in the same one. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Thank you. Um, maybe I'm going to focus on this. Uh, let me see. Here we have processes. I know it's processed, but the product processes. And here we have like service, singular service, and services. So we have um, there are some other easy like car, cars, right? Cars. Aha, uh -huh. singular and plural. But in this case, processes. Okay. But Pro thank you. Process. And the other was community. Yeah, employee, customers, suppliers. Yeah. Thank you. And. We go now with remember that uh, I know that you have some some questions, but uh, 
I want to correct you in some part, but I'm not, I'm not going to correct 100% because we need to advance. Vamos avanzando. No se preocupen si nos equivocamos. That's normal, okay? But we are moving. Alex, Enoch, hello. Hello there. You want to say something? Are you okay? Are you okay with your Wi-Fi? Hello. Hello. Oh. Yep. Hi. ¿Todo bien? Mm. Uh, you're here? You, yes. You hear me? Yes, I hear you. I can oh, hear okay. you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, tell about mission. Our mission is in that the population each one at country on where we provide service. We'll have, we'll have the heirs access to quality products and service with the most advanced telecommunications technology and which access this price. Okay. I job, hey. I I work in no I guess you're having some difficulties but thank you. Uh, our mission okay yeah is okay the service mm -hmm. provide service thank you so you're you you work especially with el, hello me escucha creo que tienes dificultades con la estabilidad o no sé si yo te es, o, o no es, sé si hay es, lag conmigo uh, yes okay vamos a ver si o oh, es posible no que no es, es mi internet creo que tiene lag sí sí Okay, Alex, okay? But thank you, thank you for, for sharing. Okay, perfect. We're going to con finish with just three more participations. Morelia, Miguel, and Raquel, and we continue. Okay, Morelia, please. Okay, the mission is grown as a veterinary helping pet with the health and aesthetic giving an excellent services of veterinary medicine and grooming service. Also helping owners with the care of their pets. So you, you work in a, yeah, veterinary in, nice, wonderful, work with pets, with animals, right? I guess it is a, you, you love your job, right, Morelia? I have a pet, I don't have dogs. <laughs> okay. Well, but you are I have fine. a cat, sorry. Okay. Well, well, very interesting. Thank you. Uh, we finish with Miguel and Raquel. Okay, Miguel. Okay, teacher. I try in. <laughs> no um, problem. I work in Latinati Central America, the vision in my workplace uh, to understand what they are asking of me and then evaluate how long I can deliver and then evaluate, uh, sorry, the product. In that way, I can maintain true of customer and also continue to stay in the market with dedication to something I like to do. Okay, nice. So you you work with Freddy's, right? Or who? Yes, yes. Yes. You're a good team. Freddy's you are partner. You are the, the shy employees. Son los calladitos, ¿verdad? En el trabajo. You are the calm, um, calm guys. Hard, hard working. It's hard working no, employees. And this you deserve, is hard. It's, it's I know. Hard. You deserve a bonus. Necesitan ahí un bono de incentivo. Okay. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> yeah. We finish with Raquel. Okay, Raquel. Eh, Aguinaldo. Yeah, we, we need it. Bono. <laughs> Akasi, almost wait um, Raquel are you there okay maybe Raquel is not available I guess she's having some difficulties for participating maybe later she can well participate Um, as I told you before I know there are some words that I'm going to correct and there are some Teacher. other words hello yeah um, teacher, um, I threw off my camera because I have a problem with either internet. Okay, thank you for okay. telling me, Mike. Yes, I know. It is raining near my house, even. Yes, I know. 
So in some time we can have that problem. Thank you, my friend. Thank so you. we continue. Thank you for, for informing okay. me. Okay. okay, we continue because okay. I remember, as I, as I have told you, I like the, well, different activities, okay? So let's move. In this case, um, okay, let's try this. To change, we're going to have a listening exercise. You're going to listen a description or maybe you're going to, well, actually you're going to listen to an audio. Pay attention and try to write, write down ideas, phrases, or if you want to memorize things, it's okay. Depends on you. But in my opinion, it is better if you can take some notes because it is going to be easier for you to participate and to say what details, what words or phrases you identify. Okay. Just give me a... A couple of seconds. Here I have this. Okay, um, fifty five seconds from this audio. Okay, so try to pay attention. I know that for some of you, it's kind of difficult because it is raining and you don't have your earphones. But well, here we go. I'm going to play twice. So you can have two times as opportunity. Opportunities to live. Here we go. I love working in the music business. It's so interesting and every day is different. The first thing I do every day is check my email messages. Many fans write emails to me and I like reading what they write to me. I write a couple of replies to my fans and then I surf around on some music websites to see what the music journalists say about me. Then I leave the house and go to a small French cafe for breakfast. London. It's a very busy city and I enjoy relaxing with my cup of coffee and I watch the world go by while I read my newspaper and a couple of music magazines. I usually only eat pastry with my coffee. I never feel hungry in the morning. Okay, let's listen one more time. I love working in the music business. It's so interesting and every day is different. The first thing I do every day is check my email messages. Many fans write emails to me and I like reading what they write to me. I write a couple of replies to my fans and then I surf around on some music websites to see what the music journalists I leave the house and go to a small French cafe for breakfast. London is a very busy city and I enjoy relaxing with my cup of coffee and I watch the world go by while I read my newspaper and a couple of music magazines. I usually only eat pastry with my coffee. I never feel hungry in the morning. Okay. Uh, raise your hand and uh, like this, right? Remember, and we're going to check like this. And we're going to check who wants to participate. I know that you have understood a lot of things, okay? You can mention one, two, or three aspects or information or phrases that you want to check. Let's see, I guess it was kind of easy, not so difficult, right? Volunteers. teacher okay alex hi tell me uh, he 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 told to about a uh, visited london and 
take a breakfast and coffee with a couple. And never, eh, he say never feel hungry. Okay, thank you, yes. He never feels hungry, that's correct, thank you. We go with Denise. Thank you, Alex. Yes, I heard that he loves be in music industry, I think, music business. Yeah. And the first thing that he do that he does is check uh, his emails, hmm. messages. Thank you. Yes, of course it is. And he's um, explaining part of the activities that he do well every day. So that's it. Uh, does anybody else have another um, activity that this person does? Me, the chair. Mm, okay, Maho, tell us. Okay. He said that he surfed on the internet uh, in uh, music websites and while he eat, he read newspapers and music magazines. Good. Perfect, Maho. Thank you. Okay, I guess there is another thing. One more thing, okay? You tell me. Roxana, hi. Hi. I listen also that in London is a very busy city. Mm -hmm. And he likes uh, to read the newspaper and with a coffee? Yes, coffee, coffee, mm -hmm. necessary. Yeah, of course. Thank you, Rosa. Very nice. Thank you for participating. It is true. All the information that you uh, mentioned. Okay. I don't know if uh, we have another person, another participant. If not, I'm going to present like information for you to read. Okay. Me, teacher. Okay, Mike. Tell us. Okay. Uh, uh, he, he checked your message. Mm -hmm. um, he says he uh, have a lot of fans. Okay. And he like read newspaper and magazine. He like drink uh, coffee. Um, he never feel... Um, I don't know. That's it. Uh, hungry. Sorry. He never hungry. feels hungry. Okay. Yes. Thank, you. Thank you. Mike, very nice. Okay. And here we have the information. Uh, I checked my email messages as Mike said. Very nice. Just one detail. Solo un detalle, Mike. Uh, cuando dice Tell he me. checked uh -huh. his checks. Uh, uh, sí. ajá, okay. His. Uh, okay, because if you say your, eh, está diciendo él revisa tus, tus mensajes, o sea, los míos. Ya me preocupé. Okay, okay. So it. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Mike. Good. His es posesivo de Okay, so if you notice here, we have the word interesting, interesting, and different things, and he does every day. And check email messages write to well his fan uh, write a couple of replies surf around some music website so he listens music online yeah, he listens that and <clears throat> uh, to small French uh, cafe for breakfast and that's it the one thing that you say okay thank you uh, hungry is hambriento. Angry is enojado. Hungry, hambriento. Angry, enojado. Uh, you pronounce it, all of you pronounce this word correctly, but I'm just mentioning this in case you have some like difficulties. Thank you. We continue now with other activity. And in this case, we go with this, okay. 
describes the steps of a procedure. We're going to do this later. Here we have order. What steps do you follow in your everyday work? What happens when an employee doesn't follow procedures? Yes, we're going to do these activities, but later. We're going to focus now on this conversation. I'm sorry. This is, this is getting crazy. Okay, so uh, here we have this um, conversation between uh, Javier, manager, okay? Manager Moore. Okay, just it's check here. I'm sorry, this PowerPoint sometimes like gives me some problem. But I'm going to present again this. Maybe with the manual that we all that you have it. Okay, I guess it's time to change the computer. I was having some. Okay, here we have. Well, here we have this, and it says, Sir, I forgot how to process a payment. Okay, process, porque si decimos process, significa proceso, pero si decimos process, es, es un verbo. For example, voy a tenerme acá un momento. Tenemos record, es un record, como record Guinness, and record, it's when you have your cell phone, for example, and you are recording a video, and you say process, ¿Verdad? El acento va al inicio. Es un proceso. But if you say process, es, un, es, es procesar algo. It's a verb. This one, it's a noun, and this one, it's a verb. This one, it's a noun, and this one, it's a verb. Okay? So that's the difference when you have, uh, for example, research is investigación. Perdón, research is investigación. But research is investigar. Si el acento va al inicio, if the accent goes at the beginning, it is a noun, es un eh, sustantivo. Es un, es un sustantivo. Si el acento va al final, en la última sílaba, entonces es un verbo. Entonces aquí sería process. Okay? Sir, I forgot how to process a payment. Señor, eh, olvidé cómo procesar, ¿verdad? Un pago. And the manager, well, manager, manager says, all right, first, you give the options to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put it in the register or just slide the card through the card reader. Then the register prints the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer signs the receipt and you keep a copy. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Okay, here we have a couple of words that I consider we need to pay attention. Register, register, slide. Okay, um, we have through. We have through, receipt. No receipt, receipt. La E, olvídense, no existe receipt. Um, signs. Signs. Ok, signs significa el cliente firma. Customer signs. Ok. So, mm -hmm. the other. This is important. normalmente todos estos detalles yo los enseño en, en los módulos anteriores 
como tips, porque a veces se nos pasan. Sometimes we have some, what? Some small details, but very important and have incidents in your English, for example. Look at this, the car, the book, the apple, the options. Okay, when you have the, and then comes a word with a consonant, the pronunciation is the, the car. No es de ni da, es the, como cuando le están haciendo burla a alguien, the, the car, the book. But if here we have a vowel, si tenemos una vocal, it changes. The apple, the option. So it is important to pay attention to these details. Estos detalles cambian bastante el nivel de su inglés. Okay? So the car, the book, the apple, the options. We have exceptions. Tenemos excepciones. Here, we don't say uh, the university, we, we say the university because le, the letter U is pronounced like two vowels. Como la U se pronuncia como dos vocales, ya cambia, ya no es solo una vocal, okay? But the rest, the elephant, the eraser, the orange, and so on, okay? So this is just a tip, un tip nada más, okay? And so for this, we're going to practice a little bit this remember mm, the options register slide through through con theta through receipt times okay and don't if you have some mistakes relax okay we are learning but i i really appreciate if you take um take these points for you to improve your pronunciation Okay, we're going to do something. Maybe a Thank person. You. You're welcome, my friends. It is important for me that you have a better English. It is not just to speak uh, fast. It is speak good. The, 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 the best you can, okay? Speak really well. Entonces, ese es el punto, ¿verdad? Esos detalles cambian bastante. Aunque ustedes hablen pausado, pero si pronuncian bien, your English is going to be very fancy. Va a ser bien elegante el inglés de ustedes. Okay, now we're going to practice a little bit this conversation. We have just uh, Javier and the manager Moore. So remember, we have to interchange this. Tienen, you have to switch. Tienen que intercambiar, okay? These dialogues. But uh, maybe, I don't know if you have the manual. I guess you all have. But if a person can have like, can take a screenshot and send it to the group could it be another good option for for the ones that uh, don't have this manual okay i'm going to prepare the breakout rooms preparo las salas please accept the request and remember in pairs we're going to practice this conversation just give me a minute let's see if we have some Difficulties, let's see here. Okay. Um, I need you to accept the request. We're going to practice like a couple of minutes and then we come back. Okay. See you in a moment, my friends.
Okay. Nancy, listener, listener. I don't know, Miguel, are you okay? Hello. Okay. Eh, te, ¿Te llegó la solicitud? Sí. Uh -huh. ¿Le diste aceptar? Sí, claro. Uh -huh. Supuestamente Pero... estoy con, aparece en inglés corporativo, Eduardo Reyes y Nancy, Carolina. No, no. Te voy a mandar a otro grupo. Ok. Uh -huh. Ahora puedes aceptar. Sí, porque esta es la sala principal. Okay, girls, no problem with you, right? Very easy conversation, Denise, Majo. Okay, no problem. Um, I'm going to call the others, okay? But by now, uh, Denise, in which area do you work? It sounds like interesting, in the bank. Uh, <laughs> actually, I work in, in IT department. Really? Okay, how much time have you worked there? I've been working there since about six years ago. Okay, nice. Well, for you. And what about you, Maho? How much time working in there? Mm, almost five years. Um, mm -hmm. I begin a, a Spanish area, 
then I pass to a Portuguese area in the chat. Wow, so nice. Do you feel any difference in the attitudes of your clients related to the language? Yes, uh, the mean, attitude I'm... and culture because the uh, Brazilians always think that they have the reason. Oh, really? Uh, yes. Okay, and what about the, in Spanish? It's kind of different mm. or in English? It's more, it's easier than the Portuguese because it's our natural language. It's more of course. easier that it's, it's easier. Uh, it's just to easier. Express, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's easier to express an idea yeah, to an, 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 another language. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I understand that. Well, yeah, uh, of course, you have faced different situations in which uh, you have like rude clients or demanding right clients and it is like that okay in your case denise do you work with people or specifically you work with your team with equipment um i am a, a service team mm -hmm. um so i you have provide team, solutions but, but yes we have to give solutions for the other teams to the other teams uh, so they are my customer. <laughs> oh, okay, that's it. But you feel good working, or you feel well working there? Yes, I I love my job. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, something really really yeah. important. Okay, yeah. thank you, girls. Okay, now we go with this. Maybe we can have some participants for this. Maybe two teams just for you to listen for the pronunciation and to have an idea how how good you have practiced do you have volunteers tell me if we have volunteers in this teacher okay okay we have alex brandon and roxana okay maybe we can start with brandon and then we go with let me check something. Okay, Brandon and Vicky, right? Then we go with Roxana and Alex. Okay. Hmm? Vicky, hello. Y creo que se fue. He's no, Kate. I, I am here. Okay. So you start? It's okay. Here, I forgot how to brush a painting. All right. First, you give the option to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put in the register or just light the card throw, the card reader. Then the register prints the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer sings the receipt and you give a copy. Perfect. Thank you, my friends. Just one uh, detail, signs. Signs yeah. the receipt, Brandon. But thank S you. Science. Okay. Science. But good. Science. Very good fluency. Okay, Roxana, your classmate is Alex, right? Alex. Okay, good. Yes. Okay, please. I don't okay. know who's going to start. Yes. Um, Alex? Okay. Uh, sure. I forgot how to process a payment. All right. First, you give the options to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put it in the register or you slide the card through the card reader. Then the register prints the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer signs the receipt and you keep a copy. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Or oh, in your case, Mrs. Moore. Thank you. Very nice. Mm -hmm. I'm really glad okay, that Moore. you practice. Mm -hmm. You, as I uh, said in the yesterday, you have very good pronunciation. Okay. Um. Remember, in some cases, you're going to find kind of difficult some activities. For example, 
some of you feel like listening is kind of complicated, but if you identify or understand or catch some words, for example, I love working in the music or email or house or cafe or breakfast. If you even understand three or four words, you're doing good. And remember, the point of this is not that you have to understand everything. Is that you have an idea and your brain connects. Su cerebro va conectando estas palabras. No se sientan frustrados, okay? Don't feel disappointed or frustrated if you feel like, come on, teacher, this is like, I don't know. Porque son intermedios. Pero el ser intermedio también tiene ciertas dificultades. Aunque también les pongo actividades un poco fáciles, pero si la sienten un poco, algunas palabras como tricky, o sea, como trampositas y todo eso. Relax. We are learning. And, okay, now we go with this. A veces con el manual no me gusta, no, no, no es que no me gusta. I have like different order. Me gusta hacerlo en orden diferente. Porque ahora sí ya sabemos. Now we know, describe the steps of a procedure. Procedure, I'm sorry. Or what steps do you follow in your everyday work? So in this case, we're going to use some keywords. Vamos a utilizar las palabras clave. And what are the keywords? First, uh, sorry, after that. Even you can say second, but okay. Then, fine. Okay, so what I need you to do is to use these uh, words to describe a process. What process? For example, a person who works with uh, clients and imagine you work in hotel reservation. So first, what you, okay. Take the call. After that, I ask for information. Then, I give, o, o si quieren, no le pongan el I, simplemente then give the offers or the options. Finally, confirm the reservation. Easy peasy, don't, don't complicate, right? Everything is relaxed. Todo es relajado acá. Okay. So these are like the steps. If you if you notice, I like to make like a summary. Siempre me gusta hacer algo como bien concreto. But if you want to expand or to extend or explain more, of course, you can do it. You're free to do it. Ustedes quieren escribir más, hacerlo más extenso, pueden hacerlo. Okay. Um, sorry. I forgot to to write the the name of this pros, procedure. It is like this. The topic is steps for making hotel reservation. And we start first. Take the call if we are uh, working in in the building or no. After that, ask for information. Then give the option. Finally, confirm the reservation. So we have a clear idea what steps are the ones for this procedure for making a hotel reservation. You have your your own procedures or steps. Ustedes tienen los pasos para procesos que ustedes hacen. It can be uh, related to warehouse, relacionados a, a casas matrices, a bodegas, or uh, talking with clients, providing solutions, dar soluciones, uh, giving a product, offering a product, offering a service, si van a ofrecer servicio, producto, depends on you, okay? I'm going to be waiting for your opinions, well, more than opinions, your procedures, the steps that you do in your job. Paso que hacen su trabajo. I'm going to give you a couple of seconds, and then we do it here in the chat.
Okay, we're going to um, go and read these um, steps. Remember that. Sorry. Vicky, hello, are you there? Yes, teacher. <laughs> okay, yes, I know, no problem. What okay. uh, are we are doing is um, describing some procedures, maybe or some process that you have in your job. For example, okay. I I wrote an example, and the other participants, your your uh, classmates, they are writing some uh, examples. You can uh, do it with details or simply. Pueden hacerlo con detalles, simple. Okay, no problem. Okay. Un proceso de tu Thank trabajo. You. Okay. My friends, 20, 26 minutes and we say goodbye. 26 minutos y nos despedimos. So, let's go. Morelia. And could you read your answer, please? And then we go with Denise. Yes. Uh, give me a second. Okay. Uh, steps for making a pet hotel reservation. Mm -hmm. First, I take the call and explain the prices of the service. After that, explain the requir requirement. Requirements. Requirement. Requirements or conditions to give the service. Then, send the offer by WhatsApp and finally, wait for the confirmation of the offer or for some change that the client wants to do to confirm their reservation. Nice, very detailed, thank you. Congratulations, just one detail. The offer, only this, okay? The offer. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. Thank you, thank you to you. Very nice, Joe. And we go with Denise and then Mike. Okay, uh, okay. Denise? Yes, uh, I have the procedure to follow in a weekly meeting. Okay. Uh, first, we do the greeting, the greetings. Then we do a feedback about uh, about other steps to follow, and then uh, the participants present their request. Then yep. they ask for the manager's approval. After that, we thank for the participations and feedbacks. And finally, I send the conclusions by email to mm. other teams. Very detailed. Thank you, Denise. Very good job. We go with Mike and then Ernesto. Okay, Mike. Miguel, are you there? Okay, we're going to wait a little bit and then we we'll continue with Mike. Uh, Ernesto, Ernest, and then Majo. Okay, Ernest. Okay, teacher. Procedures, procedures to make a payment. Peers, request the envoy, the invoice after uh, verify the information. That is name, date, descriptions, etc. Then send the payment to bank platform. Finally, apply the payment and send the receipt. Yeah, very nice, Ernesto. Very good. Just one thing. First, okay. First, second. First. first. Yeah, request. Okay. First. You know, you know your job. All, all of you, you know. Your job. Todos ustedes ya conocen bien su trabajo, ya veo. Thank you. Uh, Majo and then Roxana. Okay, Majo, please. Okay. Procedures or steps to make a change flight. First, when the interaction starts, you greet the customer. After that, you must to ask what they need or what, what are their needs. Then, when you have clear what is needed, you can proceed to solve. If they need a change, of their flight, you quote, I think is the the word to cotizar, verdad? 
right? Mm -hmm. Sorry. Yeah, could, could, okay. you, okay. could say it that could, way. Could the best alternative? Then when the client disagree, you can proceed with the payment to their credit card. And finally, we emit the new tickets with the new data. Okay, that's it. Just one thing, maybe, yeah, procedures, good. You can say also look for, or you can say research, because you are in, making like investigation about that. You are asking the best option. You can say look for, research, or could. Yeah, thank you, uh, Maho. You have like the different things to do, right, in this, and it is like details. It is like, well, very important Teacher. not to, to make mistakes. Yes. Uh, how do you pronounce date, data? Ah, okay. Uh, you can say data. 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 Mm -hmm. Some people data. say data. I have heard that data. I have heard that. Okay. In some people, but it's common to say data. Okay. So, mm-hmm. That's a good, that's information. Okay, you're welcome. Um, what about Roxana? Okay, my procedure is for the shipping line. Ah, shipping first, line, yes. Yes, first take the call with the shipping line. After that, I ask when they will uh, write the container to the port. Then I ask to the for the bill of lading, and finally, mm -hmm. when they will deliver it, the original bill of lading to me. Okay, thank you. Okay, shipping line containers. I guess it is delicated. Con tanto delicado eso, ¿eh? yes. Roxana. Yes, yes, delicated, yeah, because you are managing a very important information. I'm not saying that the rest of you participants, you have this, but uh, sometimes we deal with money, with investment. Yes. Okay, so, yeah. That is the difficult thing that is because for the mortgage, um, it's too much money. <laughs> it's too much money. Yeah. Yes. And, and this is why this kind of jobs requires a lot of attention. Okay. Your concentration yes. and, and be punctual. Okay. Thank you. Yes. To well, be pending we're... that. Yes. Every time. Thank you, Roxana. Yes. Okay, okay, as always, I appreciate all of your um, participations. I noticed that we have some of the participants that have not sent. Maybe they are waiting. Um, quizás algunos de ustedes están eh, trabajando con sus respuestas, but um, espero que, bueno, ya se nos quedan solo 20 minutos y tengo dos actividades, two, two activities. Thank you for all the participations, pero también recuerden los que no envían, pues, de que a veces puede ser un poco complicado, pero intenten. Inténtenlo. No problem. Aquí estamos, pues, este, para aprender paso a paso. Uh, me gusta darle varias actividades, pero solo los que hacen las actividades van a ir avanzando. Quienes no se van a dar cuenta, ya se van a dar cuenta esta semana, se van a ir quedando poco a poco. Entonces, en, ese, en esa etapa se siente, porque se adquiere más eh, vocabulario, pierden el miedo ganan seguridad, fluidez, este vocabulario, ¿verdad? Así que les motivo, ¿verdad? Eh, a, a que completemos las actividades, incluso eh, se vuelve más interactiva la clase, si se dan cuenta, hablan bastante ustedes. Y ese es el objetivo, that's the objective. Alex, you go, and then I'm going to explain some other activity, para explicar una actividad que vamos a hacer en las siguientes clases. Ok, Alex, please. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. I okay. hear. Please uh, go ahead. Ah, I, I read. Tienes que leer. Read. The, yes. The, read. Cool. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, first, check the emails, check the WhatsApp groups, and after, prepare my tools from to start the job. I build the order of sales. Identify everything okay. I need five system to complete uh, the order. The order. I send report the sales to to boss. Also to my workers. 
co-workers, mm -hmm. co-workers. Co-workers, okay, yes, it's your, your partner, your colleagues. Okay, that's it. Okay, nice because you work with net, with teams, okay, with even social media. Thank you. Thank you, Alex, for uh, your, your participation. Let's see if we have some other. Vicky. Okay, aunque me lo enviaste en mensaje privado, Vicky, but okay, no problem. Can you read it, please? Sorry. No uh, problem. The okay. The procedure. Procedure. Procedure in the world is every day when I work in the office, follow the steps. The first activity in the morning is check the email and replay the emails. After, check a data and photograph of servers, then write a report of five words. Finally, hangover the technical report. I don't mm -hmm. know sure is hangover or deliver. <laughs> deliver. <laughs> okay, it is, it is hand out. I'm going to explain ha. this. Okay. Okay. Hand <laughs> hand in and out, or you can say oh. present or deliver. Okay. Hand in deliver. es cuando entregas algo. Oh, perdón, cuando recibes algo. Hand out es cuando presentas algo. También se puede decir present, ¿verdad? Que es presentar. Fíjense bien. When I'm checking the attendance, you say present, ¿verdad? Present, pero aquí es present, ¿verdad? Entonces aquí es verdad como que alguien está presente, pero esto es presentar, deliver, ok. Y la otra que es, eh, ¿verdad? Y es hang out, significa salir, como decimos, a chotear o a vacilar. Y es like in that Salvadorian language, hang out is go out and have fun, ok. No, pero si hacen eso en tu trabajo. Good for you, don't quit, no renuncies. Ok. We continue, my friends, and I'm going to explain some other activity. Hay una actividad más que vamos a comenzar a hacer a partir de mañana. And this is so important because in my opinion, well, based on my experience, I have learned a lot by listening and practicing words from music. You know that we have copyright here because all of these classes are videos that are uploaded on YouTube playlist, play, una playlist de YouTube. So we cannot use music. We, can, we cannot use uh, some pictures or images that are for, that are like, well, that if they have copyright. That's why I don't use music. Por eso los teachers, bueno, en mi caso no utilizamos música. Because the videos can be banned, pueden ser eliminados. But we can use words. Podemos utilizar palabras. A partir de mañana, cada uno de ustedes en cada clase va a presentar un extracto de una canción. Y eso puede ser yo recomiendo que sea el coro o la parte más pegajosa de una canción. Entonces, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Vamos a presentar, por ejemplo, yo presento esto. No van a cantar, ni yo voy a cantar. De hecho, canto horrible. But me imagino que ustedes cantan súper bien. You are going just to read. Vamos a leer. Y luego vamos a analizarlo gramaticalmente. How? ¿Cómo vamos a trabajar la gramática con la música? Especialmente la letra de las canciones. Aquí dice, I can't fight this feeling any longer. And yet, I'm still afraid to let it flow. What started out as friendship has grown stronger. I only wish I had the strength to let it show. Does anybody know this song? ¿Alguien conoce esta canción? Or the group, the band. Nobody. Mm, almost. Supply. Almost. Casi. Uh -huh. Quizás se la dedicaron y ni se acuerda. 
but yeah, it's a romantic song. Si la canta, tal vez, teacher. No, maybe it's kind of difficult. I, I, I'm really bad at singing. Realmente soy malo cantando. But the point of this activity is two things. El punto de esta actividad es hacer dos cosas. Uno, adivinar la canción o en la banda. Eh, esta canción se llama I Can't Find This Feeling. Es de R.E.O. Speedwagon. ¿Verdad? Um, y cuando ya la hayamos identificado, que ya lo hicimos, vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Vamos a identificar los subject pronouns, object pronouns, possessive adjectives, and possessive pronouns. Además de que vamos a identificar adjectives, adverbs, and verbs. Necesito que me digan solo uno. Yo les voy a mostrar cómo ahorita. Ya les voy a enviar esta imagen. You're going to have this uh, image because you can have an idea about the parts of speech. Van a ver las partes gramaticales. Ustedes ya conocen los subject pronouns. I, you, he, she. ¿verdad? Los object pronouns, que es me, you, him, her. Possessive adjectives. My, your, his, her, and so on. And possessive pronouns. Pero también tenemos adjectives, adverbs, and verbs. Tenemos adjetivos, verbos, eh, regulares e irregulares. Por ejemplo... Um, por ejemplo, tenemos acá. Yo recomiendo que esto lo hagan con, con tiempo. Eh, cada quien se lo voy a decir desde una clase anticipada para que no tengan dificultades con eso. Ok. Por ejemplo, I es un subject pronoun. Fight es un irregular verb. Verb. Irregular verb. Uh -huh. Irregular verb. Feeling, it's uh -huh. a noun, es sustantivo. And is a conjunction, es una conjunción. Afraid es un adjective. Okay, um, for example, stronger es un adjective. Okay, um, you can say also what, WH questions. Y lo otro que pueden hacer también es, por ejemplo, establecer si es presente o pasado. Por ejemplo, this. I can't find this feeling any longer. ¿Verdad? Que es presente. It's present. Like this. Solo eso necesito que haga. Por ejemplo. For example. For. Tomorrow. Quien me comenzaría con esta actividad. Va a ser Roxana. Vamos a ir de la última al primero. Ok. Roxana está por ahí. Roxana. Ok, ¿escuchaste las indicaciones? Sí. Uh -huh. Entonces, busca una canción que a ti te gusta. No le pongas el nombre de la canción, ni, el, eh, ni la banda, ni quién la interpreta. Ok. Haces lo mismo que yo hice. Sí. Lees, okay. no vas a cantar. Solo lees y luego, mm. si, cree, si quieres, ya puedes traer subrayado que es eh, subject pronoun, que es un verbo, que es un adjetivo, y así sucesivamente. ¿Ok, Roxana? Ok, ok. Si tienes dudas, puedes escribirme durante el día y yo te detallo cómo lo vas a hacer, porque tú eres la primera. Ok. Uh -huh. okay si tengo problem. No problem, yes, you can text me, puedes escribirme. Ok, so in this case, it is like... Um, Another activity in which you can learn vocabulary, grammar, and improve your pronunciation through music. A través de la música mejoramos todo eso, la gramática, eh, mejoramos el vocabulario y la fluidez. Aparte de la pronunciación. ¿Ok? Do we have questions? I guess no, right? I have, so, I have a question. Dime, Alex. Tell me. Uh, five or four or four uh, sentences. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can express or you can detail the sentences. Puedes también mencionar algunas oraciones. Por ejemplo, esta, la que yo mencioné. It's in the present. Okay, tranquilo, Freddy. Ya sé que estás emocionado, but relax. Prepare your song for when you're turn comes, cuando ya vaya tu turno, ahí te lanza, pero sin música, quieren a capela, pues adelante, 
Ok. Pero ya está bien disparado. Nice. Nice. I like that attitude. Me gusta esa actitud. Ok, uh, guys, here we have this. Ya ven, Te nos, nos quedan ocho minutos y me falta la otra speaking activity y todavía nos hace falta la otra participación. We have another participation for uh, Albert. Ok, Albert, please could you read your your text in the chat? Okay. Good morning. You are communicating with Pacific Range. How can we have you? Client. I need a reservation. Okay, give me your name. Client. My name is Mario Mario Alfaro. Okay, don't Mario. At this moment we have a reservation for you on the drive floor by a pan panoramic view and it has, has a double, double bed cable television so you can enjoy and of course white airline service if you like we can start the reservation mm -hmm. okay thank you alberto and uh, what you did is establish like uh like all the process, right? With the dialogues. Aquí lo, lo, lo pusiste con diálogos. It's okay. Uh, for example, Thank when you. you say first, good morning, mm -hmm. it's greeting. Eso significa el primer paso, saludo, right? Uh, sí. How can I help you? Mm -hmm. Like after that, ask uh, how is the client and so on. Okay, estuvo bien. Lo único diferente que hiciste, the difference is that you make a, like a conversation and the other uh, participants establish the steps. Es como que hiciste los pasos, pero con diálogo. But okay, thank you, my friends. And six minutes, well, five minutes, and we finished. Um, solo detallar esto. With this activity, con la, la actividad de la canción, recuerda. Um, después pueden anotar after uh, after presenting this, you can say, for example, the name of the song. And the group is I love Oscar. Yeah, you're writing now this song. But maybe you don't have an idea now because I didn't sing it. Como no la canté, por eso que no, no captamos. But if you present words and the part of the song, maybe we can have an idea. Uh, you can use popular music romantic music or depends on you okay um the last one if you can do this if you can send a screenshot si pueden también pueden enviar una captura de pantalla de esto because this is the things that you are going to detail in this activity esas son las cosas que ustedes van a detallar aparte besides you can say if it is in Simple present, si es affirmative, negative, question, simple past, future. Estoy escribiendo esto en caso de que ustedes lleguen a pensar, teacher, pero yo no, 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 no encontré qué más pone, detallar de esta letra de la canción. We have always parts of speech. Siempre tenemos las partes gramaticales y siempre tenemos de dónde este, enfocarnos para que sea académico, para que sea constructivo, educativo. Okay. So I know that in the previous courses you already started this. Estoy seguro que ustedes, los teachers anteriores que tuvieron, ya les explicaron eso, ¿verdad? Lo que son, what is an adjective, what is an adverb. ¿Cuál es la diferencia de los verbos regulares e irregulares? Si no se los han explicado, me gustaría que me lo dijeran. Because I can take part of some classes to, to explain this. Because this is very, but very important for you. Because you are in intermediate. Well, ya están en intermedio. ¿Verdad? Entonces, a veces, sometimes we have like ideas or we forget some words. A veces se nos olvidan palabras, pero esta es súper, súper importante. 
This is the base, es la base. Ok. Um, well, teacher, yes. Sí nos han explicado anteriormente, pero en lo personal siempre tengo problemas para recordar cuáles son los adjetivos y cuáles son los adverbios. Ok. Lo personal. Ok, maybe tomorrow I'm going to take a couple of minutes from the class to, to explain this. Even uh, the, the last activity, after the, the speaking activity, I was going to, to explain about adverbs. Iba a explicar acerca de los adverbios que lo voy a hacer mañana. Lo primero que voy a hacer en la clase. Ok. And I'm going to explain always um, the difference between adjectives and adverbs. Ok, le voy a explicar eso. Y si ustedes tienen otra duda, teacher, esto me confunde y todo, pues háganmelo saber y con gusto tomo un par de minutos para explicárselo. Ok. That's it. Ok, my friends. Un minuto. Para pasar listas se nos va a ir un poquito de tiempo. Así que necesito que hagan lo siguiente. En el chat me van a enviar un thumb up. ¿Qué es un thumb up? Es esto. I'm sorry. I made a mistake. Un thumb up es esto, un pulgar arriba en el chat. No me lo pongan aquí en la, como reacción. No, en el chat. Cuando terminemos la clase, yo reviso y paso lista. Así como lo acabo de hacer yo. Sí, thumb up. Thank you, Brandon. Porque si comenzamos a pasar lista, se nos va a pasar demasiado el tiempo. Ok. Thank you, Denise. Roberto Morelia. Ok. I'm going to check it later. Después lo reviso. Todos thumb up en el chat. De esa manera paso lista. Um, Luis Eduardo Reyes. I don't know if you are there. Estás ahí conectado, Luis. Me parece como oyente. Entonces, um, Majo, are you there? Yes, right? Yes. Solo ok. I don't. Eh. No, 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 no. A lo que voy a decir. Oh, okay. Me puedes okay. quedar. Okay. Can you wait, please? We're going to have the session, personal session. Vamos a tener la sesión okay. uno a uno. Se me queda after Thank the you. class, please. Okay? okay. The rest of you, my friends. El tiempo ya se nos fue. Si es la vida. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. La speaking activity 2 so la continuamos mañana. Okay. Bye bye. Okay. okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good my night. friend. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, my friends. Have a good night. Bye. Good night. Bye bye, Freddy's. Okay, Maho. Um, have you ever taken English courses in another academy or another place? Yes, I was. No, I was studying English class at CNUS on 2017. Okay, how how many levels did you study? I finished all the course. Wow! But when I start work. I work in Spanish, so I don't. I didn't practice. Yes, I think I forgot a lot of things, so I need to practice to talk, to listen. <laughs> to... Is... Yes, to practice to not forget. Yes, the English. There is a um, there is a term that uh, when I was studying at the university, the teachers used to use. It is fossilization of English. It is when you have acquired the language, but if you don't practice, it means that all the knowledge, the information is there. But if you don't use it, uh, little by little, it is hiding and it is deeper and then it is more difficult to extract that information. So that's yes. why it is so mandatory to practice it. To use it in different, uh, yeah, in different contexts. So um, you you mentioned that you you are working in different languages, but in chat accounts or email accounts. Is it's a it... chat account. Okay, and uh, currently you are working with Portuguese. Is that right? Portuguese. 
yes, I have a big problem. I don't like music in English. And I Come on. begin or start are to... You, are you serious? Are you yeah, serious? Yes. On, I only like music in Spanish or in Portuguese. So I start uh, to learn Portuguese when I listen music in Portuguese. Then I pay my classes at uh, Institute, the Embassy of Brazil here. Oh, so, nice. yes, but the English, I, I have trouble with it. With English mm -hmm. always because okay. I, I no soy como acostumbrada. You are not accustomed. Yeah, you are not yes. used to. Okay. Um, when you learn a language, it is uh, basically you are uh, you are interchanging with a new culture. So you learn phrases, music, movies, jokes, uh, expressions. Maybe you like. Um, the Portuguese culture and me maybe from Brazil or from Portugal I don't know but in English don't complicate yourself if you want ask to your mother to one song that she likes or your father or any of your family you can say okay tell me one the name of one song that you like and present it okay because uh, if you have learned Portuguese by listening to music Congratulations, because that's one of the, the first steps, right? That uh, catches your attention, right? Yes. Yeah, so that catches your attention, and that's why you are, uh, you have the ability, you have the skill. So nice, Maria Jose. Okay. And yeah, you want to say something more, right? No, no. No, okay. So you don't have the like, enough opportunity to practice your English, right? With friends or some other mm -hmm, people, it is difficult for you to practice English. No, my father speaks English. Okay. Okay, yes. he speaks English. So... Yes, my dad speaks English. Like, he right. always speaks with, with me and my sister in English. But okay. the conversation by, my, by me, it doesn't flow Oh, I understand that. Maybe they have another type of common topics. Maybe they have some other things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Could it be or or it, it, it is like they are accustomed? But no problem. Eh, Maho, eh, you have very good pronunciation. Mm -hmm. eh, sometimes maybe I noticed that there are some grammatical points that maybe you can improve. For example, when you say my father speaks English, is my father speaks. Okay, the third person. But but mm -hmm. details. Because you are very fluent to speak it like very fast. And that yeah. that's really nice. And I believe that even you are um you are able to work in a call center if you want. I'm not saying that you want, but you have the capacity to do it. Because you have the vocabulary, you're fluent, okay. and yeah, could it be another option? But if you like the work that you have now, please continue, because I'm pretty sure that you're doing really good. So, you. yes, I, I hope you all, you like the class, and I, I know you were accustomed to the other teacher. I don't know if you have some other teachers, but if you notice, I have some other activities. My methodology is, is a little bit different. I don't know it's what do you dynamic. think. It's more dynamic. It's more dynamic. Do you think? Yes. Okay. I know it's difficult after work. Taking classes at night. This is schedule. This is schedule. Yes. <laughs> yes. It is it's complicated. I know. Yes. So I try to be uh, empathic and think as students. Yes. I imagine myself as a student and I say, okay, I, I'm tired. I'm sleepy. I want to, to to go to bed and so I need some different activities. So I hope you, you like the class. Okay. Yes. We have some other activities. I hope you, you you're going to enjoy it. Thank you. Yes. Okay, Maho. So well just we're going to practice a more and more English. I don't know yes. what do you think about the speaking activities are kind of interesting if you notice there are some of them that are Kind of weird, strange. No, 
um with the with the question that uh, if the corpus need a um intelligent test mm -hmm. I'm before agreeing. having <laughs> okay yes, yes i'm yeah. agree that, that's my <laughs> that point an economic and emotional test too <laughs> So I, I was thinking a lot in the and the questions. Yeah, and you know, um, I try to present different questions for you to give an opinion because in opinions are important for me. And there are some students that they're going to say, teacher, I don't agree. Come on, what happened? But there are some others that can say, teacher, I consider that this happened, blah, blah, blah. And this is the objective that you express your ideas and you are yes. using English. Okay, so yeah, the point is that you try to, to speak, you as students, you speak more time than me as a teacher. So, yes. well, let's continue tomorrow and well, congratulations. You have the ability to learn some other languages. Okay, so I try to motivate you and if you need something, okay or anything please text me okay, okay that's my number you. okay so that will be all okay Maho. So thank you good night you tomorrow have a good night bye bye